After injuries forced him out of the last two Lewis Drug Pro-Am tournaments, Kane Wasilincha returned to Sioux Falls this year healthy and eager to show once again why he's the undisputed greatest player in professional racquetball. He took on Daniel De La Rosa in the Pro Singles Final this morning at the YMCA, and he was cruising through most of it. Big forehand winner right here as Kane takes the opening game 15 to four. It's a best of three, so he's one game away from his fourth championship. De La Rosa trying to hang around as he gets a nice forehand save here to pick up the point in game two. However, there would not be very many of those for him. Kane with his own vicious forehand winner helps bring things to match point. Or at this point, it was just kind of elementary, but he does finish it off in style with an ace. Kane Wasilentia, his fourth Lewis title in six years. He was joking around with Mark Griffin last night that, you know, he really never actually gave up his title. It's good to be back. And, uh, you know, he made a joke last night. He said, you know, maybe you'll get your title back tomorrow. And I said, well, technically, I never lost it. I didn't lose, you know, I just didn't show up. So, um, no, it's nice to win. It's always nice to win this tournament. Um, great event, great people. Um, and I always enjoy coming. The Coyote basketball teams are on the road in Omaha for a Sunday matinee and a split doubleheader. The women tipping things off this afternoon at 2 o'clock. And in the first quarter, Allison Ahrens was certainly ready to go as she gets position on the inside. Hoop and the harm. It's 23-17 to 17 USD after one. In the second quarter, Kira Duffy was also doing some work down low. She had a game-high 17 points. And by the way, I mentioned Ahrens. She had 12 points. Another person who had 12 points, Taylor Frederick, really good in the first half. She showed range with a three-pointer in there, a nice hook shot inside. She had 12, 44-31 Yotes at the break, and they would blow it open in the second half. Duffy with the steal. She starts the fast break, and it's Madison McKeever finishing. McKeever with 14, 64-38 after three. And one more coyote got into double figures. That would be the New Mexico transfer, Hannah Shervin. She helps bring it home in the fourth. She had 12, and the Coyotes cruise 80 to 49. The men's game is coming up tonight at 7 o'clock. It's not Omana, it's Omaha. Maybe I'm a little distracted by certain things we'll talk about later in the sports cast. We'll have highlights of that one at 10, uh, assuming, of course, it's in Omaha and not Omana. Also, some afternoon ho hoops in Madison, where Dakota State hosted Waldorf in a doubleheader that had been pushed back by Friday's snowstorm. Trojans working inside out to start. The Pride of White River, Justin Folkers, scoring DSU's first four points. He finished with 22. Then Del Rapids' Carson Rentz scores the next six via a pair of threes. He had a game-high 23, and the Trojans get out to a 10-to-1 lead. Plenty of other guys get into the act for Gary Garner as well. It's Anthony Costello, nice patience down low. He drops in two of his 19 points. Trojans out to a double-digit lead. And then it's Harrisburg alum Brady Van Holland expanding that as he drives and gets this runner to run over the rim and drop. He had 13 points, and Dakota State gets a nice win, 86-64. Same teams in the women's game before that, and it was a good one. Fourth quarter, the Lady Tees trailed by eight with five minutes to go when they get going. And a Gorman to Roosevelt connection. Mackenzie Hermanson to Kelly Kreidel, DSU down six. Next time down, USF transfer Taylor Valeski in the post spins and calls bank. Trojans whittle it down to three. David Moe's team looking for the equalizer with a three down by, a, down by three with about a minute and a half left, and they get it from Hermanson. We're knotted up at 79 apiece. Hermanson had 11. Trojan fans hoping for a stop. Unfortunately, Waldorf with some nice passing frees up Morgan straight. And her three is straight down the middle. Waldorf gets the win 87 to 83. Tupac Capella spent most of his high school career playing for a state championship program at Washington. In college, he'll shoot up for a national championship team. South Dakota's all-time 11-man prep football leading rusher announced via Twitter that last night he's committed to play college ball at Morningside beginning next season. Now with the Warriors, Coop Capella ran for a South Dakota 11-man record 5,796 yards and 69 touchdowns, winning three 11 AAA state titles. He joins a Mustang program that went 15-0 last year en route to an NAIA national championship. Of course, it is Championship Sunday in the NFL playoffs. The conference championships, it's just gone final in overtime. The Los Angeles Rams stun the New Orleans Saints 26-23. This was the Saints' first NFC title game at home since they beat the Vikings in 09. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure Minnesota fans probably love this result. So the Rams are heading to their third Super, the fourth Super Bowl in franchise history, second in L.A. They had two in St. Louis. They'll get the winner of the New England Patriots and Kansas City Chiefs. That game is about to kick off. I'm not telling you who to root for. I'm just maybe suggesting 
We'll be back in one moment.